Hi, I'm Dr. Erin Ducat with Ducat Chiropractic and Sports Medicine here in Bloomingdale, Illinois. I just want to share with you a few tips about walking in running form. People with good posture and people who move well have decreased pain, decreased stiffness, and increased athletic performance. When you're walking or running, it's important to make sure that your head is arranged right over your torso. You don't want to be forward like this. You also want to make sure that your torso is erect, so everything in one straight line. Some folks here have difficulty with that, kind of slumped forward. That's going to lose a lot of pressure here in your back. When you're walking or running, um, the shoulders should be upright like this, and then your palms should be facing in towards your sides. Some folks get stuck kind of like this, or when they run, maybe their arms come out here to the sides. Again, leaving a lot of pressure here to the shoulder and neck area. So make sure your palms are facing in. And when you're walking, your elbows are going to be more extended, like so. And when you're running, they're going to be bent more like this, so you can move in a more quick fashion. The hands should not be squeezing, especially if you're a runner. Uh, that, that's one of the tendencies I'll see it for a lot of my patients. So just let your hands be loose and let the musculature here in your shoulder blades right back in here and then your core be the most firm parts of your body as you're running. When you walk or run, it's important to make sure you have just a slight bit of abdominal brace. Not too much, like you're about ready to lift 200 pounds at the gym, but just enough so that you don't have a lot of excessive rotation here in your midsection as you start moving your arms and legs. The opposite arm should always move with the opposite leg. Not too many people start moving same arm, same leg. It just isn't a natural feeling, but make sure you're using the proper gait pattern. Your feet should be about parallel, or maybe up to 10 degree turnout. Some folks are all the way up maybe to a 45 degree angle. I affectionately call them duck runners or duck walkers uh, because it kind of looks like a duck waddle as they move. Um, this puts a lot of pressure into your hip, your knee, your foot, and even your low back. So it's important to make sure that you keep that proper alignment with your lower extremity. As you're walking or running, like I said, your abdominal area should be firm, your shoulder blades should be firm. Those two spots are basically holding together your machine so that your arms and legs can freely move, propelling your body forward. If you're having pain with walking or running, or analyze your posture and realize that in your running form and realize that things aren't moving the way they should and you can't fix them on their own, I highly encourage you to see your local chiropractor, especially one that specializes in sports medicine, because they can quickly evaluate you and see which areas need to be either stretched or strengthened or maybe even adjusted so that you can move better and feel better. If you have any questions, please do shoot me an email and check out my website at www.ducatchiropractic.com. Thanks.